Oh, there they are. Who is it? Ta-da, Krabby Bills, here we are. Thursday morning everyone. Well today the G7X is getting set back to Canon for repairs so it is the first official day that we're using the SX620 camera that we bought yesterday and there's no flip up screen so can't see what I'm doing. Hopefully my aim is good and the quality is good. I think it's gonna go well. Judd and I have a super fun day planned but first we got to do some adulting at the bank. <laughs> we adulted! That wasn't so bad, was it? No, it could have been worse. Yeah, so now we're on the way to Bravo to pick up some things for Harlow's Raw Diet. She is still on kibble from the hurricane. It's just been hard for me to get out and get the components for her raw diet, but after this we'll have everything, so hopefully I can prep tomorrow. All this scrumptious stuff for Harlow. Chicken hearts, cow liver, some other nasty stuff that only Harlow would like, but she's getting it pretty good. How was your lunch, babe? It is pretty good. Awesome. What'd you get? You can get some little bit of pork, a little bit of plantains, and a lot of bit of rice. Awesome. Very mm. nice. I had two graham crackers today, so I'm good. You didn't learn to cook like this. <laughs> I cook plenty of good stuff. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So it is day two of my seven day transition to the new Kate Farms feeding tube formula. I have no difference in the negative effects from my feeding tube intolerance because I'm only doing a quarter of Cape Farms, three quarters of my old formula. I don't expect to see a difference yet, but tomorrow I'm going to half and half, so maybe I'll start seeing improvements, but I might have to wait the full week until I'm fully on Cape Farms. We shall see, and we're going to be home for a bit, but we have an exciting surprise for y'all. We have an adventure today that I'm really excited about. <laughs> wait. Who is it, Har? I'm gonna let her go. All right. Okay. Go. <laughs> oh, there they are. Who is it? <sighs> Happy puppies! Surprise! We've got our friends in town. Hey. <laughs> oh, the table runner. <laughs> Of course. Ooh. Look who's here! I hope she's in the frame. Again, I can't tell. But Janice and Paul are here. They were in town because Janice and I both have narcolepsy and she's been having issues finding a good doctor for it. I love my neurologist who treats my narcolepsy, so I told her we might as well come see my neurologist. So she did. And did you like her? Fabulous. Yeah. It's hard to find a good doctor sometimes, but when you do find that good doctor, it was worth all of the work and so now she has a great treatment plan and since they're in town we're gonna go out for a seafood adventure and i so love my excited. seafood panamanian man <laughs> what it's true she makes me laugh oh and the boys of course as soon as they were able to left to go look at guns <laughs> So we both do have narcolepsy, but even though you may share the same diagnosis as somebody, it can affect you very differently. For example, Janice has narcolepsy type 2, and I have type 1, meaning I have cataplexy and she doesn't. And if you want to learn more about cataplexy, you can watch the narcolepsy section in my chronic illness video. Janice also experiences more sleep paralysis than I do, and she has something called dream reenactment behavior, kind of tied in with her narcolepsy, which is where she acts out her dreams and can get violent sometimes with it, right? It's on accident. Okay guys, it's <laughs> not my fault. <laughs> I don't have that. So our treatment plans differ. The way it presents itself differs, but we're both narcolepsy warriors. Can we help you, Horna? You being cute? <laughs> well, the boys are back and we're on the way to one of our favorite seafood restaurants. What are you yeah. gonna get, babe? I'm going to get the usual hush puppies and a chicken sandwich. Seafood restaurant and Judd gets a chicken sandwich, but I'm getting mussels. I'm so excited. We're almost there. The water looks so pretty. Ta-da! Krabby Bills! Here we are! 
hippo glistening in the Florida sun. As Jack becomes this long climb up the treacherous Krabby Bills Mountain. Reaching base camp now. Altitude is one foot. Oh, she has stumbled along her expedition but recovered quite well. Reaching our second base camp. Altitude is three feet. I repeat, oxygen is getting thin. She's gonna need to take a break. A rest to get her lungs up to oxygen at this out horrible altitude. Quick interview, how do you feel at three feet and climbing? Very big rail. <laughs> She's going up. Next altitude is gonna be five feet. I don't know if you can see other people are cheating using a wheelchair. Oh. Jerks. Just <laughs> getting <laughs> Janice has cheated by using her husband in a chair. Cheater. Say? I said you're a cheater. You want, you want me cheater. To punch you? What are you gonna do? From down there? <laughs> we made it. That ramp. That ramp always gets me. And in I case cheated. you're wondering, Judd was joking about the cheating thing. Janice um, needs gallbladder surgery, and we joke around a lot. Yeah, we joke around with each other, but when you're waiting for gallbladder surgery, at least in her case, it's very painful. That's why you're using the wheelchair, right? Yeah. So she's using the wheelchair because it's very painful to walk when her gallbladder is giving her pains, but I wanted to do my best to make it up with my walker, and I did it. Get a workout, man. It was a workout. We have one good dog and two good dogs. Chowing down on some hush puppies. With honey, I like them. Janice doesn't, but I think they're pretty good. I love it. <laughs> I got my mussels, it smells good. Judd got his chicken sandwich, of course, grouper sandwich for Paul, and Janice got oysters. How's that gonna work? Got this? Yeah. Hi. Love you too. Hi, Doggy. Dogs are Love you guys. Bye, Orion. See y'all soon. <laughs> yeah. uh, she doesn't want to go with you. She totally does. Oh, look at this face. My dog just wants to be into the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Look, he's looking for the saltwater smells. Look, I can take you to the beach. I can actually enjoy it. You can too. <laughs> oh, look at you. You want to stay with me? We love you guys. We'll see you love soon. You. Bye. Love Bye. you guys. Bye guys. Double love vlogging. Double vlogging. <laughs> Well, the food was great. Did you enjoy that, babe? Always enjoyable. Yeah, it was really nice to eat there with friends, and I ate more than expected, which was amazing. And then when we left the restaurant, the weather was actually nice and cool outside. Maybe we are leaving the really hot days of summer here in Florida. Doubt it, but it was nice for it to be cool outside. Well, we arrived home, and there are lots of packages from my home health company. This is my port care and infusion stuff weekly delivery, and I think this is all feeding tube supplies. Some of y'all asked what's gonna happen to my old formula now that I'm on Kate Farms. Well, when we evacuated for the hurricane, I brought a lot of formula with me, but we had to leave a lot of it here too because we just couldn't bring it all, and we lost power for three days. The formula has to be kept, we leave it at room temperature, we don't put it in the fridge, but it can only be within certain temperature thresholds, and it got really hot in the house with no power, no AC, so a lot of the formula spoiled. I only have about like 10 cans of my old formula left, which is actually perfect because that'll be enough to get me through the transition. I'll have a little bit left over, so there's not really much to do with it. Um, I don't have enough to really donate anywhere or anything like that, so we're just gonna use it. <laughs> All right, in this box we had grip lock and extension sets. Can I help you? <laughs> This box just has some extra infusion supplies. These are my nutrition bags. I know it's in the other box. And yep, I told my home health company I don't need any more of my old formula. So they didn't send me any. Perfect. Well, we had a pretty great day. Do you know if we're in frame or not? I do not know if we're in the frame. I was winging it. I hope so. I, can y'all let us know what you think about this new camera, how the sound is, the video quality? Be interested to see because 
I've been like editing and so far I've been pretty good about getting us in the frame. <laughs> But I'm interested to see if y'all can tell a difference between this camera and the G7X Mark II. But it was really nice seeing Paul and Janice. I love our friends. I love the relationship we have with them. Jen and I aren't people to like have a wide group of friends. We don't have a ton of friends, but the friends we do have, we're really close with. And we tease each other like brothers and sisters. And... We've been friends for years, and it's just really nice when we get to hang out with them. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see them again soon. Yep. Yep. So, anyways, we had a great day. And with that, we're going to say goodnight, and thanks for joining us on our adventure.